Hi, I'm Michael, an account manager of Live Heavy. Today, I want to show you how to measure a mantle of a cone crusher. With these sizes, we can make one which fits your cone crusher. Why measure it? Well, if you get its sizes, you can give it to the experts and have more choices of suppliers. By learning this method, it also helps you to train your engineers. And by measuring, understanding how they work when they are used for crushing, which will simply help you improve the processes of a crushing line. So, let's measure it. Here is the first step. Measure the outer diameter of lower part. In this step, just simply use a pair of calibers, and then we get the result. Step number two, measure the inner diameter of lower part. In this step, use a tape measure to measure from 10 centimeters. Then we get the result of 92.4 centimeters. Step number three, measure the inner angle of lower part. In this step, there are two ways to make it out. The first one is using the clinometer. This device is expensive and it's not easy to use. So I would like to recommend you the second way, which is using the kilometers and the universal ankle meter. Combine them in this way to get the inner angle of the lower part. Here comes the step number four. Measure the outer angle of lower part. In this step, also using the calibers and the universal angle meter. Just mention that the universal angle meter is a bit different. Follow the step as it shows on the video. It is for measuring the angle of the working surface. As we see, the result is 35 degrees. Step number five. The vertical height. In this step, using these two tools, calibers and pathometer, using one part of the calibers to measure the upper part of the apex, using another part to measure the vertical point of the apex of the pathometer, which is on the horizontal plane of the lower part. Then, the result of vertical height minus the result of the thermometer dot is the result. Step number six, the outer diameter of upper part. Here, the engineer is using an iron chain to flat flop the mantle so that she can measure the upper part. To measure it, just simply use a tape measure to measure it from 10 centimeters to the other side of the outer diameter. Here's the result, 38.6 centimeters. Step number seven, the inner diameter of upper part. So it is a little bit different than the previous one. Here we got the result, 36.2 centimeters. Here is the last one. Step number eight, the inner angle of upper part. In this step, we use two tools the clabbers and the universal ankle meter. First, put the clabbers on the apex of the upper part steadily. Then, put this angle meter this way in the video. Here comes the result, 45 degrees. On this part, if you got the results, just fill in the results on this sheet and give it to the engineer of a quasha parts factory. You will figure out the sizes of the mantle that fits yours. Here is all about the measuring. If you find it helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. If you want any information about quadruple parts, come visit our website leapheavy.com, in which we share the news of mining and aftermarket knowledge. If you're interested in anything about mining web parts, please leave a comment below, and I'll make a video about it next time. We make quadruple web parts. If you have any goals or questions that I can help. Feel free to contact us, we're willing to help.